Financing base metals. Base metal warrants may be pledged as collateral to banks for loans. Banks that offer this service are often commodity trade finance banks. Traditionally, this financing of base metal warrants occurs when the market is in contango structure, where the futures contracts are trending at a premium to the spot price, generating an upward sloping forward curve, transferring ownership of warrants. Warrants may be pledged by the trader to the financing bank. If the clearing broker, also known as a futures clearing merchant, is different to the financing bank, they will facilitate this process but not actually transfer ownership of the warrants. Any clearing member engaged in this service would have warrants put in Lien status for the duration of the loan. The warrants in Lien status cannot be used for any deliveries until the financing bank indicates the Lien can be removed. A list of such warrants is sent to the financing bank. There is no tripartite agreement between trader, clearer and financing bank, but rather 1. Agreement between trader and clearer and 2. A tripartite agreement between exchange, clearer and financing bank. Spot Month Position Limit CME markets are regulated by the CFTC, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and in order to protect futures markets from excessive speculation that can cause unreasonable or unwarranted price fluctuations, there are limits set on the spot month by the exchange. Exemptions are granted for bona fide hedging subject to compliance with specified terms. If the threat of market manipulation is low and speculative position limits are not necessary due to highly liquid and deep underlying cash markets, position accountability may be applicable. Information on position limits, position accountability levels are available on the exchange's website and the CFTC website www.cftc.gov.